It absolutely looks brilliant. Nice and flaky. Onto a fresh soft roll with some cream cheese. And this is the sort of stuff that's gonna make you smile. Mm. G'day, I'm Chewy. Welcome to Smoke Barbecue Sauce, where we want to help you improve your barbecue game. Today, I'm going to be hot smoking some salmon. Now, there is some prep work involved as we will be brining this salmon overnight. So, let's get into it. I'm starting off with a nice big piece of salmon weighing four and a half pounds. You also want to leave the skin on because this is going to protect the flesh when we remove it from the smoker. And next up, you just want to make sure there's no pin bones left in it. When you are buying fresh fish, they normally remove all the bones anyway, but it's always best to check for yourself because they can be quite long and they're easy enough to remove with a pair of tweezers or a pair of needle nose pliers. Onto a brine now. Into a saucepan, we need to add one cup of apple juice, a quarter of a cup of maple syrup, a quarter of a cup of kosher salt, a quarter of a cup of brown sugar, a teaspoon of whole black peppercorns, the zest of one lemon, and a few sprigs of dill. Now over a high heat, bring this to boil while stirring constantly as quick as you can. This allows the salt and the sugars to dissolve and all those flavors to fully combine. Once it starts boiling, turn the heat off, remove it from the heat and allow that to cool down completely. When completely cool, you can add it to a container and add one quart of water to that as well. And that's our brine. Now we can add the salmon to the brine. Now, being that this is such a large piece of salmon, I'm actually gonna cut it in half. Four larger pieces like this, even if I'm cutting it in half, a 12 hour brine is fine. If you can only find thinner, smaller pieces, about an inch, inch and a half to two inches, four, six hours at the max for that to brine. So I think straight in the middle is where I'm gonna cut it and then place it flesh side down in the brine both pieces, put the lid on, and I'm just gonna put that in the fridge overnight. So our salmon has been in the brine overnight. I've taken it out of the brine, and all I did was wash it under some cold water. Remembering when handling salmon, it is a delicate fish, so just be careful. Next up, I'm just going to transfer the salmon pieces to a wire rack, and obviously skin side down. Using some paper towel, we are just going to carefully soak up the last bit of moisture off all of the flesh. And don't forget the end bits as well. Use a couple of bits of paper towel. As I said, you want that moisture gone. Once we've patted the salmon dry, we're going to put it in the fridge for four hours, skin side down and this is gonna help the salmon form a pellicle on the skin. That is a tacky film that's going to help promote the smoke flavor and the color on the salmon. I need a low indirect heat today, so I'm gonna be using my 22 inch Weber Smoky Mountain. So how I'll do that is by filling the charcoal ring with lump charcoal, adding one fire lighter and lighting it up. Then I'll add two chunks of wood. I'm gonna add a one of cherry and one of nectarine. Then I'll start putting the WSM back together again. I'll connect up an ambient temp probe, put the lid on, make sure all the vents are wide open. And as our temp reaches about 50 degrees off our target temp, we'll start closing down the bowl vents. The smoker is at temp and the salmon is ready to go in. Now I'm gonna leave the salmon on the cooking rack just to make it easier to move around. I'm also going to place an internal meat probe into the thickest part of each piece and put the lid back on. I'm gonna set the thermometer to tell me when each piece of salmon reaches 145 degrees Fahrenheit internally. The salmon will take around two to three hours to reach an internal temp of 145 degrees Fahrenheit. We do not need to do anything but wait. All the prep work we did by brining the fish and allowing that pellicle to form is the hard part. The salmon is ready and has finally reached that internal temp we were chasing of 145 Fahrenheit. So just remove the salmon from the smoker carefully and you can leave it to cool down or you can dig straight into that oily Omega 3 filled goodness. I mean, it absolutely looks brilliant. Nice and flaky. And as you can see, while it is warm, 
it'll just fall apart. Now the white stuff on top of the salmon is called albumin, and I think I pronounced that right. And it is just a protein that's, that's in the fish. And as it's subjected to heat, it rises out. So it is a liquid form in the fish and there's nothing wrong with it, it's perfectly fine. Now, how long will your salmon last after smoking it? If you have a vac sealer and you seal it up, it should last two to three months in your fridge, if properly sealed. If you're just gonna put that straight into the fridge into a normal container, you're looking at four to five days is about the max you're gonna get out of it. I love seafood and there is nothing better than smoking your own salmon. I mean, it just falls apart onto a fresh soft roll with some cream cheese and top that off with some baby capers. And this is the sort of stuff that's gonna make you smile. Mm. If you'd like to check out this recipe a little further, there's a link in the description to the website where you'll find a wealth of barbecue knowledge. Cheers and thanks for watching.